Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farmer's Dynasty. And we have this huge job in front of us. We've got to plough this field and we've got to repair some greenhouses for this bloke who wants us to do all of this in exchange for a measly old worn out seed drill. Quite frankly, I'm not sure it's worth it. Uh, but, you know, this is the only way that we're going to be able to get this seed drill. And if we go and spend all our cash on a brand new one, it's kind of, you know, yeah, I, I don't think that's a good thing to do. So we are going to have to bite the bullet and we are going to have to do this. We are going to have to go whizzing up and down and up and down and up and down and possibly up and down a little bit more after that. Until we have finally, finally finished plowing the field um so yeah as many of you know by now plowing was not something that i've been looking forward to anyway we've got all this extra land that i bought and i'm not looking forward to plowing that either but it's something that we gotta do so we may as well just get on and do it so this is what i'm doing right now i'm busy working my way through this field and i'm not sure how long it's going to take this tractor is terrible for trying to stay um, in a reasonably straight line. I have been told by those of you who have driven these old tractors yourselves, you know, that the, the, um, the three-wheel, well, I mean, technically it's four wheels, but um, still, it's, it's a three-wheel tractor. As far as I'm concerned, it's a three-wheel tractor. But yes, there are those of you who have driven these tractors and have all said to me that, yes, they're really good for, like, turning corners and stuff because you can... Um, now, you, you, can, you can do this with any tractor. You basically you just stamp on the independent brakes and you can use those for um, like going, helping to drag it around the corner. And the independent brakes work even better with a tractor with a wheel configuration like this than they do with a standard wheel configuration. Um, so you really can anchor yourself around the corner using the independent brake pedals. However, these things are absolutely terrible for trying to slide into the ditch like this. You know, I'm trying to fight, I'm fighting this thing constantly, trying to keep the front wheel out of the, the ditch that is formed by, you know, the, the furrow that is formed by the plow. And apparently it's like that in real life as well. This, this is not an unusual thing. You do actually have to do this in real life. You're fighting the thing constantly. Um, I don't want to be driving up here because I don't think it actually registers as plowing the field properly. I think it's um, it does leave bits behind. Uh, which means that then when we come to completing the field, we don't actually complete the field because we've left bits behind, which is not a good thing. So, um, yeah, we do actually need to keep the rear wheel in the furrow of where it's gone previously. Even though it kind of looks like it goes a little bit further aside than that, um, I don't think the game registers it as that. Because the last time I did ploughing, I didn't sort of stay in the furrow all the time. And then the, we even we got to the end of the field, and it still didn't say that it was complete. You've got to do quite a lot of the field. It's, you know, when you do the missions in Farming Simulator, you've got quite a lot of leeway. If, you, if you're really tidy with your work, there's a lot of um, the field that's left at the end when it says mission complete. This is different. This is a lot less forgiving than that. So you do actually have to do the field properly. You've got to get all the way around the field. Um, which I kind of like, to be honest. I do like the fact that you've actually got to do the job properly. Um, it, but at the same time, I also don't like it because it means that then we've got to, you know, when we're doing this, uh, we, we've actually got to do the job properly, which, um, yeah, so it, it does kind of backfire a little bit. So let's just straighten that one up. I'm going to, I think that's probably enough going around that way. I could probably now go down the other side of the field and just sort of work this little section out completely so that uh, we, we've done one half the field then. So we get down to the other end and then we can turn around. I'm not going to spend the entire episode just doing this plowing. I will do some of it myself and cut that bit out. And then we can move on to the greenhouse as well. So that we do actually finish this episode having earned our fertilizer, not fertilizer, our seed drill. I would like to finish the episode having earned the seed drill. So I, th I think it is only right. It was a lot easier if we do it like I mean, I'm, I'm going like this just to kind of straighten it up again because we drifted way off course on the last pass on the field, didn't we? So let's just come down there and then lift that one up. If we move over this side now, come over here. Is that bush solid? No, that one's not. Some of the bushes are solid and some of them are not. So it's, um, it's just a question of finding which one is which, really. So we can drop that one down there and then lower that down. And I will just follow the very edge of this field here. And hopefully we will be able to mark it out. It looks like, I mean, it does seem to take a reasonably wide bite of the field. So maybe we could 
try this just going a little bit wider because it looks like we're, we're covering quite a lot of land with the plow if you look up through there you know how much the baler covers it kind of looks like it's doing that so maybe we could do something like that we'll have to see i'm going to do another pass up we'll do another pass up across the field you can watch that one and i'll do this with the wheel out of the furrow and, and we'll sort of do it like that i'm also going to turn with the plow in the ground down the end if you want realistic gameplay I suggest you look away now because this is going to be horrifying to behold for those of you who crave realism. Um, not really so much because the tractor doesn't like to turn with the plow in the ground. Okay, so if even if we try to play without realism, the game says, "Ha ha 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 ha!" I don't think so, sunshine. Do this job properly. Right now, I'm looking up through there, and it's definitely like covering it all in. But whether it's counting as being done. I'm not sure. I mean, we've we've got an animation here. There is an animation that is working up through. And that animation does look pretty good. It does look like it's working. So whether that's actually counting as all being done. I've just run the, the wheel sort of right along the right. Yeah, I have missed a bit there. So you, gotta, you do have to run the wheel along the end. But it may be we can get away with not actually having to put the wheel right into the furrow. Maybe we've got a little bit more leeway than that. If we have, this is going to be very, very cool. If we haven't, it means I'm going to have to go back over this field again. Um, I really don't want to have to go back over the field again. It's still a risk I'm willing to take. It is a risk I'm willing to take in the, names of, in the name of expediency. We ought, it, I hope it will speed things up a bit. So let me just do out a good chunk of this side of the field, and then we can start working on the other side of the field as well. I'm curious what's going to happen if I leave the plow down and I go right out towards the road. Is it going to affect it? Here we go. Uh, apparently you can't plow up the road. Well, I guess that's kind of a good thing, I suppose. Um, for those of you who are wondering why the game is still not available on the Steam store, they have posted an update. The people that have made the claim against them waited until the very last minute when the claim would expire. You know, something had to happen. And they went and filed a second claim against them. So it looks very much like the people that are filing the claim are trying to play the system a bit and uh, impact sales and so on. We're, nobody's quite sure what's going on with it. Um, they've stated a couple of people who it's not, but they haven't said who it is. I don't think they can say it, who it is. I think for legal reasons they, they, um, they don't. Um, but... As, as a second claim has been filed, we've got to wait a few more weeks. So I think it's, it's either 14 or 21 days after the claim is originally filed that um, nothing's, uh, something's got to happen. So unless they can come up with a third claim against them, there's a very good chance that uh, things should settle down. So unfortunately, it does mean that those of you who want to get the game still can't get it. You've still got to wait longer before it's available on the Steam store again. Um, and yeah, they, they are aware of this. They're, they've, uh, they're, they're, they're full of apologies for it, but there is literally nothing they can do about it. It is completely out of their hands. They are not allowed to sell the game while this is going on. Their updates are still happening for the game, so I'm taking that as a really positive sign. If they're still doing the updates, then it means that something good is still going on. Um, they haven't just abandoned the game or anything like that. So, we've got this game. We've got a claim has been made against it, and then nothing more came of that until the very last minute on the final day when another claim was filed against them. And so now we've got to wait for that claim to expire as well. And if it's 21 days, uh, we're looking at um, the end of February. Uh, if it's 14 days, then it's going to be like the 21st of February, I think it is. It might even be the 20th of February. So either the t I, I think it though it's 21 days. Unfortunately, I think it is 21 days. So you're looking at the 27th to 28th of February this year in order to be able to get the game. So I will keep you updated. Any more information that I find out about this claim and anything I find out about whether or not um, this game is going to be completely pulled or whether they've uh, reached an agreement or whatever, I will keep you updated with it so that we know what is happening because there are a lot of you now having watched these videos would really like to get your hands on the game yourselves and i don't blame you it is a lot of fun so i will let you know the moment that it becomes available it does take a little while but 
if this method of plowing actually works where we don't have to have the wheel all the way over because of the nice wide width that we can get with the plow it shouldn't take too long to do this job and it, i'm really really hoping that this pays off because if it doesn't it means that i'm literally going to have to go back over the entire field again to plow in between each of these lines in order to sort of grab the last little bit that hasn't been done which is gonna be a little bit disappointing to say the least just a teensy teensy bit disappointing i am not going to enjoy it not even a tiny tiny little bit but we will see so we'll just come down here we've done this side of the field so we've just got to i've just got to spin around and do one more pass up through so then we can just do the other half of the field i'll do that all in one go um but now i gotta try and fight my way up here with the um sort of the bank collapsing on both sides this is going to be interesting um i'm curious how much of a, a wide gap it's leaving behind me i can't really see it very well it's leaving a bit of a gap there oh i'm going all over the place with this thing it's very very difficult to steer it when you've got this going on behind you um and if you look at behind us you can also see that it, it's it is leaving a bit of a mess there, but we haven't done too bad. It's, it's a, a bit of a wide furrow, but overall, I'd say that was pretty good. That's, that's, we can be reasonably proud of this, considering that we've gone all the way up across the field and only done, and it's like been roughly a plough's width, the full length of the field. That means that we ploughed reasonably straight, and that is something as a farmer that you can actually be proud of. We can raise our heads up high and we can say we did this. And we did this well, ladies and gentlemen, we did this well. So we'll just come on down here. So I'm going to do one pass down here, and then we go back up the other side of the field. We cut along the edge there. It's, um, I don't know if it's going to be a funny shape going up that side or not. We'll soon find out. And then that'll be the last of it. Which means that we'll have this quest all done, all finished. And, well, hopefully all done and all finished, because then we've got to go and we still got... After all this, he still wants us to go and do his greenhouses. So it's not like the job is going to be over yet. We've got an awful lot of work to do for this guy. I think he's taking advantage of our generosity. I think he's taking advantage of our current um, our need as well. We, we need this seed drill. And I feel that he is absolutely 100% taking advantage of us in ways that he should not. I think that he is um, he, he needs to take a long, hard look at himself. And ask himself, is this really the direction he wants his life to go? Because, quite frankly, I'm disappointed. Let me just bring the back wheel of the tractor right inside the field a bit more. And we'll see what difference that makes. And then we will ultimately, of course, find out once we've done this piece here whether or not this job has worked. And I am a little nervous about this. I really, really don't want to have to repeat this because... Um, yeah, this is not an entertaining job. Unfortunately, the quest information doesn't actually tell you what percentage is finished on the quest, which is quite disappointing. I really hope that is something they add in later on, so that if we're doing a quest for somebody and we're like doing a plowing job or something, we can at least have a little marker that says you're now 10% done or you're 50% done or something like that. Um, fuel is down to 14%. Plowed, well, we've, we've done 60% plowed on the field, so we, we do have that. We can right-click and um, view it that way. I've also got to be careful with the fuel that I don't run out while I'm doing this, because that would also be really, really bad. I really don't want to run out of fuel as I uh, dash around the field. If it's 60% done, I'd say that we're doing reasonably well. So we just bring this one on up round here, and I'm going to have to put the lights on now. It's starting to get later. And we'll look again. Yeah, 61%. So I mean, I'm going to guess that's what you've got to go for. you just got to go for the plowed percentage there to reach 100%. And then when it does, job done. 62%. We're, we're sailing through this. We're absolutely sailing through this. We'll have this done in no time. Once more around the field has now put us up to 66%. Um, which is actually... Well, we might even eat a live frog at the moment. So we're getting pretty hungry. So we're doing about 5% of the field each time we go round. We've not actually got very much to go. 67%. This is really good. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm getting more confident that we can do this in a timely fashion. Hmm. I think we're going to run out of fuel before we finish this field. We're on 
So we have done another 5% of the fuel, but we are only on 9% fuel. I think that the fuel is dropping faster than the percentage of the field is climbing, which does mean that we could be presented with difficulties. I'm not actually sure where the nearest garage is either. Well, it's getting late, and we're really, really hungry, and fuel is getting low. We're on 78% of the field. The field seems to... Oh, it is still climbing. Uh, so 79% of the field. So we've done almost 80% of the field. We're starving hungry. Um, quite frankly, I think that we need to um, do something about all of this. So let's just... Food is on two. So let's let's have a beer. Because, um, you know, why not? Let's, let's, let's have a couple of beers and an egg. All right. So there we are. We are full. A couple of beers and an egg. No problem at all. And then once we've had our couple of beers and an egg, we now need to go over there. So we want to go up that road up there. And then once we get up there, we, we basically need to get where that star is. Uh, so that we can get some fuel for our tractor. I'm kind of hoping that we can get there before we run out of fuel. We're on 5%. I don't know if I have left this too long before traveling off to get fuel or not. We will find out very shortly. I actually think we're going to be okay as far as fuel is concerned. We're still on 5%. So it's not draining a massive amount as we're driving along a road. Um, doing the actual work in the field does seem to take a little bit more. So we've just got to get up there and we can load it with fuel. Then we go back and we finish the field. So we got 21%. It was on 79% plowed when we left. And I'm hoping that that little bit that we got left in there is going to be enough to complete that to 100%. And I don't have to start sort of traveling up and down the strips that I've already done because we've left some... I'm, re I'm, I'm genuinely quite nervous about this because we've put in a lot of work into that and I really don't want to have to go and do it all again. That is just going to be utterly heartbreaking and rather soul-destroying as well, all at the same time. Um, we'll see. But let's let's get up to here first. We've got 500 meters to go. Where is it from here? Uh, yeah, I am going in the right way. I'm, I was actually thinking I would cut across country, but I'm, I'm actually thinking now maybe not if we, we just stick to the road. We can come down to here and then up there and then we're okay. And then we're going to get back over there. We might cut across country to go back to see Sam. Uh, well, go back to that field that we were working on after we've gotten the fuel. But before we get the fuel, no, we won't. We'll, we'll stick to this because there's, I believe there's a field between us and the fuel. Yes, there is. Looking on the map, you can see there's a field right there between us and the fuel. There it is. Farm machinery. And there is the fuel station. We are on 4%. So we, we've done all right. We could possibly have even done another round on the field and still managed to get up here without actually running on fumes by the time we got to the to the station over there. So we, we haven't got very far to go. Just a little bit, and we can get there. 4%. I'm curious how much it's going to cost us to fill this thing all the way back up to the top. Not very much, I wouldn't have thought. I mean, it's not like we've got a shortage of cash at the moment. We got plenty of money because we're busy saving up for one of those tractors right there. It would be very nice if we could buy that tractor. I also need to have a look at the trailer. I've forgotten um, to find out how much it is. Um, because apparently you can pull the trailer with this tractor, which is brilliant. I, I really like the fact that we can do that. So let's just pull in here and stop. There we go. Enter gas station. Buy 44 litres for 65.94. Buy a thousand liters to the home tank. No, I want to. I want to do that. There we go. Tank capacity is only forty-six liters. There we go. One oh, 99 percent. Well, of course it would be because we're we're actually we're running right. So now we've got to go all the way back down there. This time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut cross country. I'm going to go up here to the other side of this field, and then I'm going to go in a pretty much straight line. Let's we'll see if we can get back over there without doing too much damage to tractor or plow or land we're traveling over, and without getting stuck. Now, with that, that's kind of the, the, the main thing, is not getting stuck. But I'm going cross-country because we might be able to find a chest along the way. And I really hope that we can. Um, I don't like the idea of working too much at night because it does tend to make things a little bit dull on the video playback. I'm hoping it's not too bad for you. If it is, then say so. I'll make sure I don't do too much of this in the future. I'd like to finish this job tonight. Although now that I think about it... Maybe it'd be better if we just, we get the tractor back over there and then we stop and we go home, we sleep for the night, we come back. I don't think there's a time limit on this particular quest. I know that some quests do have time limits on them and it will affect your standing and it will affect your um, sort of relationship with the people if you take too long to do a quest. So we'll, 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 
I'll tell you, we're, we're going to find out. We're going to wait and see on this one. I'm, I am, we're going to, as soon as I get back to the field, I will jump, because I can teleport back over to the pickup that's back at the farm. And so I can jump to that one, then we can sleep the night, we can get the eggs, we can do the milking, and then we can jump back to this one in the morning. I'm really hoping this isn't a sheer drop-off that is approaching us. I think it's just another hill. I'm, I'm really, really hoping this, because otherwise I'm, I'm going to have to go round, and it's, it's a long way round. It's quite a steep hill. I will give it that. It, it is quite a steep hill. I haven't seen any chest, though. A bit disappointed about that. I was hoping for another chest, because... We, we can get some nice nice toys and stuff out of the chest, decent cash, all sorts of valuable items. So we'll bring this one over here, we're going to park this one up, and then we're going to jump back home, and we're going to get a bit of sleep, and then we will come back here refreshed and ready to carry on. So 79% plowed. It's ready to go. We'll just bring that one over to about there, I think. We'll stop you right there, like that. I'm going to turn the lights off there, just to be on the safe side. And if I go to the map, I can go up here and I zoom in a little bit. There, yeah, car, pickup. We can enter the pickup, jump out, and get rid of that one. And in we go. Right, I'm, ju I'm just going to leave the doors open. I'm, I'm sort of a bohemian sort of person. I think we can leave it open. It doesn't matter if the animals come in. Um, we, we don't care. We're really, really tired. We're exhausted. We've had to work so hard. Um, so, yeah, it, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. There are some new eggs in the hen house. There will also be some milk in our cows. So we need to go and get the milk out of the cow and the eggs out of the hen house. Uh, you are well rested and feel strong again. Excellent. All right, let's go in here. And eggs. Eggs galore. Look at them all. I think we get about 20 eggs each time, don't we? 20 eggs a day from 10 chickens, which by my reckoning is actually a pretty good rate of return considering that normally a chicken only lays one egg per day. Um... The fact that we're getting two eggs per day from each of our chickens, and uh, from each of them as well, I might add, I'd say that's pretty good. I'd say that was, I'd say that was highly impressive. Let's just take a look. Uh, looking tab, seventy-eight eggs. It is fantastic. Rebuild. Oh, I'm, I'm in rebuild mode. Um, I think. Why is it saying rebuild? Oh, it's, it's just because I'm in rebuild. We got repair, free hands, no tools. Right. Um, let's come into here. Right, start milking. You just gotta, you press E and, oh, you, you gotta press it a few times. You just press it, no, you don't. You, you gotta, you gotta spam press the button. Spam press E to milk the cows. That's milk plus, plus three. It was only plus two yesterday. We've got more milk. wonder if this is gonna be, are we gonna get this from each of them? That's plus three. I'm sure we didn't have, um, I'm sure it was just plus two on each of them. It might have been because of the amount of time that we owned the cows. So this time we've owned them all the time, all the way through. So we, we get more cash for them. Let's milk that. We won't bother selling the milk just yet. We'll just keep hold of it. Oh, that one was only plus two. Oh, you've let me down, cow. You've let me down. Right. Let's milk this cow. Um, but yeah, I, I do feel that she let me down. Only only giving... Um, I think she... Well, maybe not let me down. I think maybe she just needs some extra corn. But we'll give her, we'll give her a little bit more corn... And then she'll be happy. She'll 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 be fine. She ah! Um. Look at that creature's eyes. That has spawned from the depths of hell. That thing has. That is horrible. I don't like that cow. Are they all like that? I think they are. Um. Ladies and gentlemen, we have demonic cows. Demonic cows are a little bit different to ordinary cows because not only do they require a decent bit of hay and some comfortable straw to sleep on, but they also require um, a, the odd human sacrifice and um, the soul to, to consume in order to keep them happy. You can see this by the blackness in their eyes. When that blackness starts to turn red, it means that we're going to have to commit a human sacrifice in order to keep them appeased. Um, let's just close, close this up and never speak of it again. Those cows are absolutely... Those eyes are terrifying. I really hope that they give them... I really do hope that they give them proper eyes. Because quite frankly, those do... Those eyes do make me nervous. Let's go down to here. And oh, I don't want... I don't want... I want a uh, machine. Come on. There we go. No, 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 no. Zoom in a bit more. Maybe I can go actually to the tract uh, plow. It's going to let me... Uh, jack bear. I, wa I want you to highlight the jack bear. There we go. Nailed it. 
Right. Oh, it's actually looking quite a bit different now. Now that it's in the morning. So we're still on 79%. Let's just press T and... Oh, wait. No, it's, it's up in the air. It's up in the air. I didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Let's lower it back down. There we go. And incidentally, you cannot reverse the tractor with the plow on the ground. Um, it's an interesting little detail that I found out as I was working yesterday. I thought that was actually pretty cool that you can't reverse the tractor with the plow on the ground. Still on 79. I'm wondering how we're going to get 20% just from this little strip up through here. This is beginning to make me a wee bit nervous. We will see. We're on 85% plowed now, so we've just got 15% left. Um, yeah, so I think we do literally have to cover every single tiny part of the field in order to get this to work. It's whether or not that we've actually got to have it at 100% plowed for the quest or whether the quest is actually a little bit more lenient than the field percentage itself. That's, gonna, that's, another, in, that's another thing that's going to be a little bit interesting to find out, to be honest, is whether you know, one or the other is, you know, which, which one is it? It's, oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. I was meaning to check the field like that. 86%. 86% and then I, I press that one um, press T right now we can move forward and still on 86 still on 86 Th this gap is closing the gap between the two bits that we've worked is closing and I don't know if we've got 14% of the field in there 13% just 13% once round is a little bit under 5% of the field so maybe we will maybe we will I'm, I'm yeah I, I remain hopeful and all the way back down to this end of the field again. Is it going to go 90%? Yep. 90% before we reach the end. So I, I do think that we may actually be in luck here. I think we might actually be able to do this. We're going to have a properly plowed field. The quest is going to complete. And we'll be okay. Um, looking at the time, I'm not sure if we have enough time to actually do all of it today. Because we've also got to repair his greenhouses. It's not just this that he wants us to do. He's actually making us repair his greenhouses as well. We got an entire baler for repairing like two sheds. And now this guy here, he's one he's, he's actually he's having us jump through all kinds of hoops in order to earn this um this seed drill. This better be the best seed drill known to man. It's better be the best seed drill that has ever existed for the amount of work that we're having to do in order to obtain it. We're on 93%. We're doing the last bit up through here. This is going to be the last full strip on uh, all the way up across the field. And then we're going to be working out that little bit of a triangle that's left. Are we going to have... It's 94. Are we going to have 100%? Are, are we going to be able to do this? Are we, is there going to be 6% of the field left in that tiny little bit? We may even go to 95% before we reach the end of the field. Are we going to do it? No, we're not. No, it's still on 94. Let me just turn around and... Here we go. Just spin around a little bit. There's a tiny, tiny little bit in the middle of the field over there that we left. But we did we did kind of get most of the rest of it. So let me just lower that one down there and run around. Is that did I did I reach that? I did, I did, I reached it. It's fine. So we carry on here. And it's still on 94. So now we've just got this bit. This is the bit that's um I'm I'm really questioning is <laughs> whether or not this is gonna work. 95. And we've not got a lot left. I think, but although, I, I'm confident now that this is 5% of the field left. I'm, I'm confident that it's going to be okay and we're going to be able to do this. Because I think it'll be 96%. Well, it ought to be 96% before we get down to the end of the field there. Or, yeah, 96. It may even just about reach 97. Um, or maybe not. Oh! Oh! Ha <laughs> ha! He's classed it as done. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh, I'm so pleased. Right, let's um, let's lift that one up. It's finished. We had to get 96% of the field done in order for him to be a happy chappy. And he is now a happy chappy. Um, we go through there. Look, it's just saying field area. That's, that's it. We can, we can purchase the field if we want. That's it. That's all we need to know. So let's just go and take our plow back. That was a lot of work. So we've just got the greenhouses to do. I don't know if I got time to do that today. Um, he wanted both of the greenhouses repaired, didn't he? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I think I, you know. I think we might have time. We might just have enough time to get these two done as well. There's no shortcut to his greenhouses because you can't quite jump over the gates in this game, which is a bit of a shame. So we want to go to repair. Actually, is repair quicker or is um? Replace with new quicker. 
I don't know. Actually, no. Repair is quicker. Repair is quicker because you've only got to do. Um, yeah, you've just got to sort of shave the stuff off, and that's what he wanted done. He wants it. He wants the whole thing repaired. So we all we got to do is just go along and um, scrape off the rust, and then we're fine. We're good to go. So let's do that one there. I wonder if, if we got to do the brick as well. Nope. Brick along the bottom is actually pretty good. So it's just a case of shaving off rust all the way around this thing. And then we should have the job all done. I don't know how much is in inside is going to need doing. But let's do that bit there. And then move to that one as well. Like that. Yeah, excellent. Right. Most of the outside is now done. I've actually finished it already. So this is... We will be able to complete this bit. I can do that bit. I'm going to do that one there. And then we come round and it's just a piece up along this end. Have we got to do the top ends of it? The gable, the gable ends? Yes, we do. I can just reach them from there. I'm not worried about scaffolding today. I'm not going to worry about that. There, we can do that. Right, there is some bits on the roof as well that we're going to have to do. I can do that quite easily, though. What we can do is we can stand on the tables and you can reach the roof from the inside, which does make it a lot easier. It's kind of, it is a bit cheaty, I realise, but uh, that's, that's fine. We, we don't mind that. We don't mind the odd little bit if it's in the name of expediency and it, in, it it sort of rushes things along a little bit for us so that we can continue on with our gameplay because there are all sorts of things that we still want to do. Right, uh, we're going to do all the tables in here. These are three apiece. That's not great, um, but we can, we can get through it. We can get through it. So we come up through there like that and that one there. At least there's only three tables on each side. That does make it a little bit quicker. So we do that one there, and you're done, and then we can do the next one, so let's run up this end as we go, and we get that one there, and then we've just got the tables over the other side, and we've got some bits to do on the roof. How much is needing doing on the roof? Um, right, we've got those there, like that, and we've got that one over there as well. Are you done? Yeah, you're done. Did quicker than I thought. Right, um, come over there, open activate. Why won't you let me clean you? Oh, I got that one there. I've actually got the one on the other side. There we go. Got them both now. Standing directly underneath and getting all of this stuff raining down on top of me while I'm working is probably not the best way to do this. All that lovely dust sort of working down on top of me may not necessarily be the healthiest option in life. But still, it's getting the job done and that's what counts. Um, that is not... Really, that's not the attitude. If I was to actually be doing this job in real life, um, if I had to do this from underneath... I would be absolutely kitted right up with um, all sorts of um, breathing masks and stuff. I have like a, a really heavy duty breathing mask that will it, it literally it'll filter out everything. Apart from like um, a, a genuine gas attack, it will filter out everything. Um, I would have that one. I would have um, protection across my eyes. All these tiny little bits of rust and metal and everything, I would have a full suit on as well. Um, just a, a disposable protective suit. Um, stop all of this stuff getting all over me because it's the tiny little particles um, of rust, the tiny little particles of metal, those metallic bits, that if they get they get into your skin, they can actually sort of work into your skin and they can cause very bad long-term irritation and all sorts of problems. You really don't want to go down that road. I mean, I don't actually do very much metal work, but as... Um, yeah, this is, this is what I've been told. Sort of, I, I don't do a lot of it myself. Um, if this was, if I was dealing with timber right now, and this was timber dust, you better believe I'd be kitted up like that because timber dust is lethal stuff. Most hardwoods are actually carcinogenic. A little interesting fact for you right there: carcinogenic means it causes cancer. For those of you who don't know, um, and if you breathe in the dust that is created from hardwood, it can actually cause cancer. Um, Things like oak dust and um, you know stuff like that, they are exceptionally dangerous. Oak is a very dangerous wood. Um, and so, yeah, if you're dealing with that, just make sure you've got decent dust masks because ordinary dust masks, just to, like the little disposable ones you get from the local DIY store, they are not worth anything at all. They, they are not even worth pennies. They are utterly useless things. Never use them. They are not good for... They, they will not protect you against anything at all, ever. Right, get it. You can get yourself a decent respirator. Uh, well, not respirator. A decent breather. All done. Breather. All done. Thanks, right. man. Appreciate it. The cedar is yours. No, I need some rest. Well, after watching me do the work for you, yeah. Gee, thanks. Okay. Um. So apparently, watching me plow that field and repair his greenhouse, plum tuckered him out. 
It really did. Right, so I've got a plough on at the moment, which means that I can't hitch this one on and drag it with me. Receive the cedar and 100 social points. So, yeah, well, we didn't get a great deal. We're going to have to run this one back to the yard, and then we're going to have to eventually come down here again and get the plough back. Uh, uh, not the plough, get the cedar. Um, but that's something that we can deal with another day. If you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me and get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.